so good morning students welcome all of you in fifth lecture of chapter number 8 that is quadrilateral so up to now basic of this chapter should be clear in your mind so we discussed question number 1 to question number 7 now we will discuss question number 8 here figure is not given we have to draw figure also so abcd is a rectangle in which diagonal ac bisect angle a as well as angle c so let us draw a figure abcd here in rectangle abcd this ac bisect angle a as well as angle c then first part abcd is a square so we want to prove abcd is a square means o if one pair of adjacent side of rectangle are equal then we can say it is a square second part diagonal bd bisect angle b as well as angle d so these two part we want to prove so first part angle 1 equal to angle 2 because ac bisect angle a then angle 1 will be equal to angle 4 because alternate interior angle so in first and second equation left hand side is same so we can write from first and second angle 1 will cancel so angle 2 equal to angle 4 so if i take this triangle abc in this triangle 2 and 4 are equal if in a triangle two angles are equal then their opposite side also equal so i can say ab equal to bc because in triangle the sides opposite to equal angles are equal so in this rectangle one pair of adjacent sides that is ab and bc are equal so here we can write now one pair of adjacent sides of rectangle abcd are equal so we can say abcd is a square now second part in second part again we will draw the figure here we will join bd and we want to prove that bd bisect angle b as well as angle d means angle 5 and 6 are equal angle 7 and 8 are equal this we want to prove so let us take the triangle abd in this triangle ab and ad are equal because it is square so all side of square are equal so in this triangle two sides are equal then their opposite angle equal so we can write angle 5 equal to angle 7 because in triangle the angles opposite to equal sides are equal now we can write angle 5 equal to angle 8 alternate interior angle let is equation number 4 this is number 3 then angle 6 equal to angle 7 again alternate interior angle that this is equation number 5 so from third and fifth angle 5 will cancel so angle 7 and 8 are equal from third and fifth angle 7 will cancel so 5 and 6 are equal when 5 and 6 are equal we can say angle b bisect angle b this bd bisect angle b and when 7 and 8, 8 are equal we can say that this bd bisect angle b so bd bisect angle b as well as angle d so after this question number 9 so this figure in ninth question figure is already given like this is the question number 9 and this is the figure of ninth question this figure here we will write numbering 1 2 3 4, 4 4 to make the question easy so given parallelogram abcd two points p and q are taken on diagonal bd such that db dp equal to bq so we can write in parallelogram abcd dp equal to bq then this five part we want to prove first part triangle ap d congruent triangle cqb second ap equal to cq third triangle aqb congruent triangle cpd fourth aq equal to cp and fifth ap cq is a parallelogram so this fifth part we want to prove so let us take triangle in triangle apd and triangle cqb so first we will use given dp equal to bq given second angle 1 and 4 are equal because alternate interior angle then ad and bc are also equal because opposite sides of parallelogram are equal so two side one angle we can say triangle apd congruent triangle cqb by sas congruence then we can say ap equal to cq by cpcd you can check the position here for second for second Now in third part we will take triangles AQB and CPD. Again we will use given, but first we will write BQ because BQ is given in first triangle. Then we will write DP. Now angle three equal to angle two. Again alternate interior angle. Here AB and CD are equal because opposite side of parallelogram are equal. Again two side and one angle we are using. So triangle AQB congruent triangle CPD by SAS congruence. then fourth part aq equal to cp aq per second cp per second so we can say by cp now this is new up to now in any question we didn't prove that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram 
here we want to prove quadrilateral is a parallelogram so in basics we we just see that out of four condition if you prove any one condition then we can say it is a parallelogram so ap equal to cq and aq equal to cp ap equal to cq these two opposite sides are equal aq equal to cp second pair of opposite side also equal in ap cq quadrilateral both pair of opposite sides are equal so we can say it is a parallelogram now both pairs of opposite sides of quadrilateral apcq you can check here are equal so apcq is a parallelogram now tomorrow we will discuss more question of this exercise and we will try to complete this exercise